Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct fit oil core kit for the 2008-2014 Subaru WRX and STI. Let's check it out. Tools needed to install the direct fit oil cooler onto the 2008-2014 Subaru WRX and STI are 10mm socket, 12mm socket, 27mm socket, 10mm wrench, ratchet, extension, 1 inch wrench, pop cut pliers, Phillips screwdriver, large extension and torque wrench, oil, and a funnel. Installation time is about an hour and a half and is a three out of five on the difficulty level. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do to kick off this install is gonna be to pop the hood and then securely place the car up on jack stands. Now for this case, we have a lift, so we're gonna use that instead. Next, remove the four pop clips from the top of the bumper. Next, remove the eight pop clips from the fender wells. There's four on each side. Next, remove the six pop clips that go from the bumper to the lower splash shield and the two fender pans. After that, remove the three 12 millimeter bolts from the center splash shield. Next, remove the two rear clips that hold the splash shield to the front subframe. Last thing you gotta do to pull down the lower splash shield is gonna be to remove two pop clips that are hidden up in the wheel wells. There's one on each side. Once you have the two pop clips removed, you are good to go to remove the pan. Next, we're gonna remove the bumper. To do this, pull on the corners of the bumper to unpop it from the little clips. Do this on both corners, and then you will be good to go to remove the bumper. Before we install the oil cooler onto the car, there's one little thing we gotta do, which is gonna be to loosely install the upper bracket onto the right hand side of the cooler. And before we install the cooler onto the car, we're just gonna remove this one wire harness clip from the center support of the radiator support. Next, install the oil cooler onto the car by putting it up underneath the crash beam. Then using the provided pop clip, pop the upper bracket into the same hole that you just disconnected the electrical connector from. Next, using the provided spacer, fit the spacer between the oil cooler and the lower welded nut on the bottom of the radiator support. And then using one 10 millimeter bolt, fasten the oil cooler to the front of the radiator support. Next, install the lower bracket using the provided 10 millimeter bolt and nut. Next, using one of the three 12 millimeter bolts that hold the lower splash shield to the car, temporarily install it into the lower bracket. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and tighten down all of the 10 millimeter hardware holding the oil cooler to the front of the car. This is just to ensure that when you tighten it all down, it's all gonna line up. Once you have all the 10 millimeter hardware tightened up, go ahead and remove that 12 millimeter bolt from the bottom. This way it doesn't cause any problems when you go to install the splash shield. Next, install the shorter line with the 150 degree angled fitting onto the left side of the oil cooler. Once you have that line installed, go ahead and install the longer line onto the right side of the cooler. Now that we have the lines loosely installed onto the oil cooler, we're gonna go ahead and route the lines in through the side of the body. Next, remove the oil filter from the car. Have an oil pan ready because some oil will still be left in the filter. Also, might not be a bad idea to wear goggles just in case of splash. Once you remove your oil filter, if you got any oil on the uh, exhaust manifold or anything like that, take a little bit of brake cleaner and a rag and just wipe that off or else you're gonna have a little bit of burning smell when you start your car up. Also, clean the area around where the oil filter seats against the engine block. 
With this auto cooler kit, we offer it to come with either our traditional sandwich plate or our thermostatic sandwich plate. For this car, we're using our Mishimoto thermostatic sandwich plate. Before you install the sandwich plate onto the Subaru, go ahead and install the two 10AN fittings. Tighten them using a one inch wrench. Next, using a little bit of oil, lube up the O-ring that's on the spacer that you need for the WRX model. Also, lubricate the O-ring that's on the thermostatic sandwich plate. Next, fit the spacer up against the block and then slide the sandwich plate up between the timing belt cover and the exhaust manifold to get it into place. Next, using a 27 millimeter socket and a torque wrench, torque down the center bolt on the sandwich plate to 30 foot pounds. Next, using a little bit of oil, lubricate the O-ring on the filter and then install the filter onto the sandwich plate. Next, install the lines onto the sandwich plate. Next, take the provided Mishimoto heat shielding and cut it into two one-foot sections. Now remember, this heat shielding is fiberglass, so please wear gloves, and if you need to as well, wear safety goggles. Next, insert the two pieces of heat shielding over the lines. When you do this, open up one end of the shielding to cup it around the line, and then just work its way over. Once you have it over the line, you can remove the clear plastic film and adhere the line to itself. Next, tighten down the oil cooler line using a one inch wrench. Be sure not to over tighten. Next, reinstall the bumper. Next, reinstall the four pop clips on the top of the bumper. Next, install the upper corner pop clip to hold the bumper into the fender. Once you have that done, go ahead and install the three screw pop clips into the side. Before you install the lower splash shield, add about three quarters of a quart of oil, start it up, and then check it for leaks. Once you've run the car and you're sure you don't have any leaks, Go ahead and recheck the fill line on the oil dipstick just to make sure you have enough oil in the car. Next, reinstall the lower splash shield onto the car. Once you get it underneath, hold it in place by putting in the two pop clips that are on the sides up in the wheel wells. Next, reinstall the three 12 millimeter bolts. Reinstall the six pop clips that hold the front bumper onto the two side fender pans. Once you finish that, reinstall the two clips on the back of the lower splash shield, and that'll finish it up for putting the splash shield onto the car. Once you've got everything all buttoned up, go ahead and take your car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.